very good afternoon all of you and namaste from india thank you so much for inviting me we are really very grateful to the royal society the us national academies of sciences and medicine the uk academy of medical sciences and the world academy of sciences i think it's the first time that a sickle cell disease patient representative of india is invited in an international in person event so it's a great pleasure and proud moment for us thank you so much human genome editing is a big hope today to receive permanent cure is a need of millions of people who are suffering with deadly sickle cell disease in entire world in my india more than 1.4 million people are suffering and they are still waiting for the cure as you all knows that india is the second highest country of the world having sickle cell disease prevalence no doubt bone marrow transplantation and gene therapy is a great need of time but still it is not affordable to the common people that's why we are far away from permanent cure and having to live in danger happy to inform you and most of the people may know that government of india has been taking initiative regarding developing crispr cas9 technology since 2017 dr deboji chakravarti who is a principal scientist of institute of genomics and integrative biology igib the council of scientific and industrial research csir is leading this very important research in india we all knows that crispr technology is very successful but still it is very costly i think it's near about 1 million us dollar per treatment we like indian can't afford right now indian researchers are working in how to minimize cost effect without compromising quality i came to know that this research is in pre clinical stage and most probably after the completion of pre clinical stage they may start phase 1 trial in india i personally on behalf of global sickle cell patient community would like to request you all researchers and scientists to please contact with our researchers your expertise will definitely help to make it faster we the sickle cell warriors are dying day by day globally in very young ages yet the affordable gene therapy is our dream till then our priority is to be alive to receive affordable gene therapy in future we have been experienced that hydroxy urea is the only economic medicine which is improving our quality of life so our priority is to get it in regular basis in our door steps it should be available in each and every district hospital and primary health centers every medical officer should know the doses of hydroxy urea they must know the protocol of hydroxy urea how to prescribe it if it happens really we could prevent more and more early deaths and also we could minimize economic burden on our nations i am taking this opportunity to share you that recently finance minister of government of india has announced 
Mission Sickle Cell Disease Eradication by 2047 in Budget Session 2023-24. Government of India is really very positive towards elimination of sickle cell disease and committed to community screening of 70 million people in the next three years. We, the National Alliance of Sickle Cell Organization, NESCO, have been working closely with Government of India and feeling so proud and happy after announcement of sickle cell eradication mission in India. Lastly, as a father of two sickle cell warrior and secretary of National Alliance of Sickle Cell Disease Organization, NESCO, India, and also I am the board member of Global Alliance of Sickle Cell Disease Organization, GESDO, I would like to humble request you all, please join our hands together to eradicate deadly sickle cell disease from the entire world before leaving. My question is that one of our speaker has shown slide of hydroxyurea, a 40 years journey of hydroxyurea. My question is that still today we are waiting, we means we the sickle cell patient of tribal we, the sickle cell patient of remote area of the entire world, we are still waiting for the hydroxyurea. We must need hydroxyurea to be alive because this is the only drug because I am giving this drug to my both of the children and they are really doing very well. So to receive gene therapy, my question is that when the 40 years of the journey of hydroxyurea is now also not reachable to the common people, then what about the gene therapy? Thank you so much. Thank you. So, uh, 